welcome back to the channel. Thank you to EA for providing us with a copy of this kit. I'm really excited to dive into a brand new Sims 4 kit that just released alongside an art studio kit, but here I'll be looking at the Storytime Nursery kit and doing my best to build with it. The Sims team partnered with the incredibly talented CC creator Sixam CC to bring us a nursery set that's a mix of goth baby vibes with a touch of old style elegance. I guess the point of this is that it would slot really well into the goth Ophelia Villa or the Palace of Versailles, but how good is it and does it have everything to make a full room out of? It's got some really nice touches from dark moody tones and some more modern sage olivey tones as well as a white and blue swatch which makes this a very nice sort of French style room which honestly would have been much easier to make than going for a room that goth baby would love. And here's why. I actually really struggled to make a coherent room with this which you might think is weird because it's a set but although the swatches seem to make sense as in this swatch does go with that swatch on the furniture when it's all in a room it doesn't really seem to match all that well. For example there's this bright red and black themed stuff when the furniture has this white stripe brand through it, which really takes away from that in my opinion. There's no entirely black swatch which made matching green tones or the red tone with it really hard. These two greens don't go together, nor does the gold and the green match any of the furniture specifically and I'm not sure what else I was supposed to match it with. I really wanted to make this green go with the black, which would have been good if there were black framed items that I was expecting, but the green swatch sometimes goes with the black and then other times the rocking chair would have you believe you're supposed to put it with white. So I ended up with this really mismatched room of some some white furniture and black furniture, so much so that I tried again with the red swatches and got equally disappointed by the lack of an entirely black swatch, as this red furniture didn't seem to really go with the swatches it was supposedly matched to. I hope that made sense. Either way I struggled a bit with that but I do think like if you were just making a pure white room it would be fine. My other critique which is smaller is that I found the furniture items to be a little too clunky and big but I think that's just a thing that Sims has struggled with in general and I think as this kit is hearkening back to that original Sims 4 furniture that's present in the goth residence so I'm not being too critical of that but I do find it a bit big compared to the more modern furniture that they've been putting in recently with the slightly sort of smaller size. The only one I really didn't like was the bookshelf. It looks like a reskin of the fridge and I find that weird. The individual pieces were good though and I can see myself putting the cots in some of my houses. This old style pram for the newborns is lovely for some older houses as well. Some other highlights for me are this adorable little canopy that can go over the cots or just about anywhere that you want it to go like I put it over this toy box just to create something visually interesting in the toy area. I also really like this teddy catcher box that's part spooky jail for toys and part old zoo cage. The bag of supplies is nice clutter to have and the wallpaper with the balloons on the toy area is great as well. I really like the little easter eggs to the goth family in here as well, like Bella is in the hot air balloon, but I am a bit confused by her photo in the fridge bookshelf. Like this is old Bella and the implications of her being in a world with the new Bella made my head spin and gave me a mini existential crisis. Also if this isn't going into the goth house, why does my toddler have a random photo? photo of a random woman in their bookshelf. Honestly this sent me into a little bit of a spiral and I don't think it's supposed to be that deep but the conspiracy theory sim lore videos must be about to drop on this one. But overall I found I was weirdly struggling to know what to do with this kit, like I had a clear vision for the art studio and this should have been easier to put together, like it's literally got everything for a room in it and I do feel it was lacking in wall decorations, like there is nothing to hang on the wall in this old style frame and I found myself using several other kits to make this room come together but this is a kit so that's to be expected. And on that note expansions, game packs, etc that go well with this one obviously are spooky stuff, paranormal, vampires, realm of magic and werewolves to a lesser degree but there's some clutter in there that could work as well. I do feel a really good sort of royal or state nursery could be made with these and I appreciate that it can do both. I was just wanting a little more coherent spooky room stuff considering this was really pushing that angle and all of the nods to Bella and the goths in it. And that's it for the storytime nursery kit. I did like the mix of goth and elegance and the little easter eggs were such fun. What do you think? Is this kit a must have for your sim babies? Before we go though be sure to stay tuned for our next video because we'll be reviewing the art studio kit as well so make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the first to know when that drops. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.